So to give you a little perspective, today is uh, May 5th, Happy Cinco de Mayo, 2020. Uh, we're still quarantined, or some of us are. Uh, some of us are considered essential. Uh, we're building the 1913 Duesenberg cycle cart still. So today we're going to get it ready so that we can install the uh, steering shaft when it comes in the mail. I'm waiting on that from BMI carts. So we have to have a structure for the steering shaft to hang on. So it's going to be a rounded piece of tubing that we're going to bend. Uh, the way we're going to bend it, we're laying it out first with a piece of foam. So we're going to take a piece of foam. We're going to draw out what this is going to look like, and then I'll bend the tubing to match up with the foam. And we're going to do the same thing at the back of the seat. This is the seat out of my red car. But this is going to get a piece of foam back here, and this will give us our shape for the structure that will support the back of the seat. And I do that with half inch by half inch round uh, square tubing, kind of like this material right here. This is actually maybe five eighths, but what I've, I've got a bender. I'll show you how we bend it. This is, uh, this is not what I'm using. I'm using half inch, but we bend this around it to give us a nice strong structure where the seat's at and where the steering column goes in. So that way things don't move around when you get in and out of the car. So uh, let's show you how we do it. Okay, so it took a couple tries to get this symmetrical, but I, I put a sprue through the board into the table using an old kite string, tied my Sharpie around it, and it just went around it. Um, what I found was I came around this side, I was nice and perpendicular, but I tried to do it across the other side from the from this side of the foam, I ended up off a little bit. So I redid it standing on this side, and now we're symmetrical. Uh, and the way I'm telling that by, it runs off the off the poster board at the same point, top to bottom. So that should be, the top line should be a symmetrical arc. So I'll go ahead and cut that now, and I think we're gonna be pretty close to having this ready to transfer to a piece of steel. All right, that was a pretty easy cut, so I just took the razor blade around it and uh, came right apart, so we'll test fit this. Okay, so it's sitting in the chassis. Um, I discovered my wire form from my previous cart is not quite square, or, you know, the center line is not quite square with the chassis, so I'm going to build a new one. And in doing that, I'm raising this up slightly here to give us a little more clearance for when we get back here, so to get that shape. So I think that's going to work fine. Uh, my other cart also had a bigger clearance here, so I'm going to... Uh, this is just right now for the metal form, to get the piece of metal form, so I'm going to make another one for the plywood. So uh, that'll get me started on making that metal piece, and then we'll do another one for the dash area. Okay, so I've relocated my workspace to the backyard, brought my little workbench table out here. I marked the center, the 20, I made, made a cut of 50 inch, 50 inch piece, marked the center at 25, then marked, you can see the sunlight's really bright up here, every inch or so I put a little blue mark. Um, and here's my metal bending operation. Uh, a couple years ago, I got this metal bender secondhand. It has surface rust all over it, so I didn't feel too bad about storing this outside. Um, I thought about bolting this in my garage, but then upon consultation with the uh, wife, we decided this is a more appropriate place because it's only going to use once in a while. So most of the time, this is unbolted and stored in the corner, and the rocks cover up those little bolts. There's a concrete pad under there, some big lag bolts, so this thing doesn't move around. So I've got the biggest diameter pieces on here and we're just gonna go around this slowly uh, maybe I'll set up a time-lapse or something and uh, show you how this works so uh, let's get started okay this is going pretty good um, had to unbend and rebend a few different spots just go slow around uh, I think the idea is to start in the center and just kind of work your way around and get this contour and then work the way contour down so you've got a little flat spot here so as you take this flat spot out, it brings this down. So you almost have to straighten this out, fix the flat spot, and then bring this back down. So that's what I'm going to work on next to try to get this to match up. It's pretty close to matching up exactly um, with the piece of foam. So pretty happy with the results so far. I've got to keep the bottom 20 inches apart. That's how wide the frame is. And right now, this is a little outside the edge of the frame foam. So I've got to bring this in. So that this fits proper so we're getting close okay so i got the back piece done it's just kind of sitting here with friction i'll cut it to size later uh, it matches up with the foam board pretty well um this is a, a function of finesse and control and just remember these things are never perfect in the first place so if you get a little bit of a hard spot or a flat spot or whatever it's not the absolute end of the world but it will carry through into your body work um, so anyway, that's what we're doing. And now we'll turn our attention to the front piece. This is the grill piece, uh, the original grill piece of the mock-up on the Model T that I built back in 2015. I hung onto this thinking, well, maybe I'll have a use for it, and here we go. Uh, it is the perfect size for the cowl shape on the front of this car uh, for where this, for the dash is going to be. So I'll bend a piece to fit that. At the right, I'll figure out the height I want it to go. It might be a little bit taller than this. Um, 
I have to look at the pictures again. I think this, this hood is going to be a little bit taller than my cart. So we'll accommodate that. There'll be some more room inside the cockpit as well. But uh, that shape up here is exactly right. So I'm using my contour gauge that uh, my buddy Ed, Biker Ed from Smooth Engineering made up. This is really handy. Um, this is mostly for, for sheet metal work. So there's different numbers on here that tells you the radius is a four inch radius, for example, uh, and a 12. And this radius is not quite a 12, it's more like a 10, but it's really, really close. Um, it's almost a 12. Very, you can kind of rock it back and forth. But you can tell as you go around it where you got flat spots. You kind of just move it around and as it, you can see daylight or whatever appear or disappear or how much it rocks. Like right there, it doesn't rock. A little bit of a flat spot compared to right here where it's a little bit more arch. So it's real helpful to kind of dial it in or at least get it closer. Um, like I said, this doesn't have to be dead nuts perfect. Um, this is going to get aluminum body on top of it, so we'll have a little opportunity to, to fill some of that shape in at that point as well. Because uh, it's really hard to get this perfect when you move it one part and when you start bending in one spot, it starts to move around in the other. So we'll make the piece for the front now. Well, I didn't very videotape every little step of the second hoop, but uh, it went a lot faster than the first one. I kind of figured out where to, where the pressure was applied and where it was bending, and so that made it go a lot faster. I got it pretty much the first try. Um, and it matched up with the original grill, which is sitting on the floor there. So I got the rear part kind of sort of mocked up here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm raising this up. The inspiration car in this black and white picture up here on the wall I might show you a little bit. You can see that the body line is much higher than the tire and on my other cart is very close to it. So I'm raising it up a couple inches. Same thing with the front. The body line is a lot taller than the tire. Um, it shows up better in other pictures. Anyway, so it's going to have a fairly tall body in relation to like in comparison to my red car which it's got a fairly short body. Anyway, so it's going to have some dimension to it, which will be kind of cool. Make getting in and out a little bit easier, I think. And I've got this actually set at right height. This thing sits really low to the ground. I'm kind of surprised. Um, so this is at 11 inches from the ground, which is about where the tire ends up being. And yeah, there's only an inch and a half of clearance below those bolts. So uh, I think the drop frame and a couple other things kind of made it uh, a lot shorter than I anticipated. Plus these spindles are mounted up on the top instead of down here. So that, that costs us about two inches roughly, or inch and a half of clearance. So on my other cart, they're at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld the rear piece in first, make sure that's comfortable. And then I'll, I'll decide on exactly where that second hoop needs to go and I'll get that welded in as well. Okay, made a bit of progress. I lowered this down two more inches, uh, about 26 inches from the top to the floor. And this is a seat out of the, uh, the cart that we're using all the parts off of. Um, I went ahead and mounted this exactly where it was as far as the height goes. Uh, this is a 50 inch piece. So that worked out pretty well. Then I made another one that matches up exactly and I shortened this one by an inch. And it's gonna go right, sorry, right here, right in front of the Z. So I'll get that welded in next. And that's gonna allow a difference in height from here to here to kind of create this slope sorry guys um, on the inspiration car so that slope that happens right there at the at the cowl at the um, windshield or what would be a windshield so it flares a little bit right there anyway so trying to capture that that oh, there's a good view of it right there where it kind of zips up a little bit so if you look closely you'll see that this is about where that main pipe is going to be that i just put on and it's going to flare up from there close to the steering wheel and it drops a little bit down to here and from here forward it's pretty well level from that point forward. So that's where the hood's gonna go in on the grill. So this second piece is what I'm gonna weld in next. It's one inch lower than this piece over here to create that little bit of a slope that happens in that cowl area. Anyway, so we'll do that next. Okay, so I got both front hoops welded in place. That worked out pretty well. Um, I got the kind of the leftover seat from the previous cart sitting there with the seat back. And I thought you guys might like to know the, the dimension from the seat back to the hoop so about the same height it's about 30 33 inches uh, the steering shaft will be 34 inches long which if I put this down here this is about 36 inch piece so probably it's gonna go right around there so it'll stick out an inch or two past sorry I moved the camera too fast it'll stick out an inch or two past this point so probably right around here um, that went pretty well I just took a few hours to bend these up and if you're going to be not using steel and you're going to use wood, of course you can make these all out of wood. Um, I suppose you would just cut some blanks, kind of like what I did on my, on my first cart. Use something like that as bulkheads, and then you would shape your body over the top of that. 
um, that would work as well. Uh, it just gives you a little bit less room in the cockpit when you come down to the legroom because that would be kind of obviously in the way down here. Uh, this will get a dash at this point, um, but not right now. We've got to get the body on it first, and then we'll decide where the dash is going to go. Uh, I'm curious, in case you're curious about how tall this front hoop is right here, from the floor it's 26 and a quarter inches, and the front one is about 25 inches from the floor. And remember, this is a five inch drop floor. So as far as you know, space goes, that's pretty, actually fairly high compared to mine. Mine's about 21 inches on my red car. And I think proportionally, so I got the front wheels on it. Let me get down low here. You can kind of see where this is gonna go. In fact, hang on one second. So I clamped a uh, yardstick on there, so you kind of see where the yardstick is at. That'll about be where the hood is going to go. I noticed a little bit of an angle on that. I think that's corrected, correctable. Um, I'll angle it up a little bit, maybe. I think the frame actually probably is at an angle, so that may be why it's doing that. Uh, but we'll make sure that matches up with the eye. Looks like it's about four inches or five inches above the tire at the front. And uh, yeah, it's turned out pretty good. I think we'll call it the end of this video. Uh, waiting on some parts to proceed on the steering column. And uh, that's the only thing holding me up right now. So we'll find something else to do in the meantime. But thanks for watching these. Uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz. If you have any questions, feel free to post them here or find me on Facebook. Happy to help with plans, drawings, parts lists, all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.